in this session we'll be looking at sets another very interesting concept in uh, redis and we'll first look at the definition of a set set is nothing but a collection of strings but it has two unique properties i just go with the properties here sets are unordered collection of strings this is a very important thing that differentiates a set from a list and sets do not allow duplicate strings whereas in a list you can have duplicate strings in as part of your list in sets sets do not allow duplicate strings so to better understand sets i have created a visualization for you and i hope that will help let's let's first create a list let's understand a list so when you talk about a list we go on pushing items from the uh, head that is we use l push and we push items from the tail that is we use r push so once when you insert an item the insertion order is maintained in the list what does that mean whenever i am going to retrieve this list the order of insertion will always be the same that is when apple is in the beginning that is an in index 0 it will always be in index 0 if it is not changed so the insertion order is maintained no matter how many times i am going to retrieve that list and since there is an insertion order we can maintain an index for the list so whenever i access element in index 2 it will be mango if i access element in index 4 it will be apple so using the index i'll be able to access an element in the list so lists are ordered and why we say lists are ordered because the insertion order is maintained in lists whereas when we take sets sets are considered to be unordered what is the meaning of unordered say suppose i add these elements to a set and as i told you set is again a collection of strings so if i add these elements to a set and it's not going to maintain any insertion order and the very first thing you see here after inserting the elements you you can see that the duplicates are removed automatically so if i try inserting all these strings the set will remove all the duplicates and the insertion order is also not maintained so this is the order of insertion maybe i started inserting banana first then mango orange apple but then you see here the insertion order changes when i retrieve the set so now orange apple banana and mango can be thrown back to the user so if you go and again uh, retrieve the set you can have a different uh, output like banana in the first mango orange and apple coming next so there is no insertion order maintained in sets that's why we say sets are unordered and uh, since these elements are unordered we don't have the concept of index based retrieval in sets is that clear okay so never forget these two important points sets are unordered and they don't allow duplicates you try adding duplicates to a set it will remove the duplicates and okay now let's proceed to some of the redis commands for working with sets a very simple commands pretty easy and we can learn this as fast as possible so s add is one command set is member set cardinality set members set pop and we'll see the definition for each of these uh, commands what do you mean by set add it just means add one or more members to the set adding elements to the set and set is member or s is member is nothing but it checks whether a member is part of the set s card is nothing but cardinality it returns the number of elements in the set get the number of members in your set and what is s member set members returns all the members of a given set and s pop this is very similar to what you have seen in lists s pop will pop a random uh, member from the set and it will also delete that uh, particular element in the set so what do you mean by popping returning the item and deleting the item from the set so it will return and at the same time it will also delete or remove the item from the set so these are the commands uh, basic uh, set commands we will quickly go and practice these commands you can also practice uh, these commands parallelly with me let's finish this off quick let me show you all the demo of creating a set by adding members to that so for adding any members to a set we use s add 
and then we say let's create a set of fruits and uh, what are the elements we are going to add we'll say apples so when it says one it says it has added one element in the set let's go and add some more elements to it set fruits oranges so it has added one element we can also add many elements at the same time we can use this command to add many elements like this s add fruits say we add banana and then we can add mangoes so when it says returns two it means it has added two elements to the set so if we want to view all the members of the set we can just go with s yes, members and then we can give the name of the set so that returns all the members of the set and we also looked at one more command cardinality how many elements are there in this set we have four members of four elements so we can just give s card and then we can give the set name so it returns for the number of elements in the set so i hope that's very easy and uh, this is the most uh, simplest database okay the next command that we are going to learn is s is member what is s is member it's a boolean return it checks whether an element is part of the set or not let's check whether apples are part of a set fruits so for that let us go and type this command s is member give the set name and then you type apples so it returns one it means true apples are part of a set can we check that s members fruits yeah suppose we try for some other item and then uh, uh, let's check s is member let's uh, check whether test is part of a set it will return zero it means that test is not part of a set fruits so that is the use of this particular uh, command s is member now we'll move on to the next command s pop as i told you pop is nothing but returning and deleting an item from the uh, set and it's going to return a random item so we just go and return random items from the set so we'll give s pop and then we'll give the set name that's it so it has uh, pop oranges out so if you go and check that s members proves so oranges are not a part of the set anymore let's move forward let's uh, let's learn more commands yeah uh, here are some of the interesting set commands uh, when you talk about sets we have all the set operations that we can perform on sets one is union intersection and the next one is difference so these are the set operations that we can perform on any number of sets I hope you all know the set operations. You have learned these things many times in our relational database systems classes too, where we performed union intersection and difference of uh, sets using SQL. So we can also do that uh, here. We can perform union intersection and difference of many sets here. And we also have yes, move, moving one element to from one set to another set. We can do that. And this random member uh, will just return a random member from the set it's not going to delete it it just picks a random member and returns it to the user so these are some of the commands in sets so we'll start with s union what s union does we have two sets it's going to find the union of these two sets and return the result so let us consider uh, these two sets for all our work right now we'll create these two sets sub 1 sub 2 and we'll add all the elements to our sets and then we'll perform the union of these two sets intersection and difference of these sets okay quickly why don't you create these sets along with me let's create set by name subject one and we have to add all the elements english max and physics to the set okay let's quickly add these elements in our set how will you add that we'll use s yes, add set name is uh, sub one and we'll add the elements it's english max physics Okay, all the elements are added the return is three let's go and check our set s members and then we'll give the set name sub one okay so what is our second set it contains english chemistry and geography yeah create this set quickly now let's start adding the elements to the set it's s add set name is sub two and then it's english chemistry and geography are the set elements okay it got added let's check that s members sub two so we created two sets now 
and now we are going to use the command s union to perform the union of these two sets so let's use that s union sub 1 is the first set sub 2 is the second set so you see here geography chemistry max physics english the elements from these two sets got added up with each other so english exists in both these sets and uh, that duplicate is removed when we perform a union of these two sets okay that's all about union let's do an intersection what do you mean by intersection whatever that is common in these two sets english is the common subject between these two sets let's do an intersection it's s inter let's give this set one set two so english the intersection is done and uh, set difference so how will you do set difference s d i f f you give set one and set two so difference is uh, whatever that is in set one but not in set two so sub one we have max and physics that is not present in the set sub two that's what is getting written so there are some variations to this s union s center and s difference that is uh, I'll, I'll show you the demo and then you'll be able to understand for instance when i say s union store so i'm going to store the result in another variable for instance if i store that in result and then i give sub one sub two it means it finds the union and stores that in result so when i do s numbers result so that's a set you can see the union of sub 1 and sub 2 is stored in another set by name result and you can see that here so that is s union store that's a variation of s union you can also store the results in another set likewise we also have s inter store s diff store why don't you try that now okay let me just show you what is s inter store so s inter store will store the result in res -E int -E result inter and then we we'll give the sub one and sub two two sets so the intersection of these two sets will be stored in another set by this name so let's run this and how to view the numbers in that set we give s members and then the set name okay so did you all try s diff can we try s diff store now s diff store we just give res subtract sub 1 sub 2 so it subtracts sub 1 from sub 2 and stores the result in this set by name res seb so we'll view the re results s members from res seb yeah great so we have achieved this we have learned a lot on set intersection union and difference we have seen the variations to that too okay a lot of commands we have learned now and now let's take a look at this thing moving an element from one set to another set that is the use of yes move so will you move an element from one set to another set for instance let me move max from set one to set two i mean i'm going to move the subject max from subject one set to subject two set okay let's quickly check what is there in this set uh, subject one and subject two s members subject one so we have this s members subject two and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to move max from this set to this set so we we'll do s move subject one to subject two we are moving what max okay one main set has moved and we'll go and check subject to set so you see here max got added to subject to set so if you want to move geography from subject two to subject one how will you move that why don't you quickly try that with me so it is s move subject two to subject one i'm going to move geography yeah done how will you check the members in this set s members subject one so now we've got geography and subject one set so that's the use of s move and what is s random member it's just going to retrieve a random member from the set and display it for us it's not going to delete it just retrieve it so it's s random member and then we give the set name that is uh, subject one will use so it's going to retrieve english so it's a random number so that's the use of random member
command sets. Yeah, that's it. We have finished our discussion on uh, sets and redis. I hope you all now know the difference between lists and sets. Sets are in order and they don't have any, any index concepts and sets don't allow duplicate values. Did we check that? Say for instance, what are the members in my set? Yes, members subject one. So let me go and add English again to this uh, set. Let me add a duplicate member here. Yes, add subject one English. Okay, it says zero. It means it has not added. If you just go and check that, yes, members subject one. We just going to have one English here because duplicates are not allowed in sets. Fine. We even check that too. Okay, that's all about sets. Hope you all enjoyed working with sets. Let's move to the next uh, concept, sorted sets.